If you find the Canadian climate too cold and clammy to enjoy, you can warm up by taking a trip to the Montreal Biodome. What is the Biodome? I think, in fact, it's unique. It's never been done in the world before. Here we have five different ecosystems, like the tropical rainforest, the maple forest, the marine park, and at the end, you have the polar region, North and South Pole. Originally constructed as a stadium for the 1976 Olympics, this building has been transformed into the five ecosystems found in the Americas. Welcome to Montreal, Quebec. This building was built for the 1976 Olympics. It housed the velodrome. Today, it is a window into nature known as the biodome. Inside, over 5,000 different plants and animals. You know, just like the world used to have back in the olden days. After the Olympics, the building stood empty for quite a while. It was a huge building with big windows, no columns. What an opportunity to set up as a greenhouse. Well, it was thought that maybe we could raise some plants in here, somebody came up with the idea of adding animals as well. The facility is a one-stop shop of adventure with a zoo, botanical garden, and an aquarium. This is Charles Mathieu Burnell. Hello, Charles. How are you? Hi, Rick. Good to see you, sir. What's your job here? I'm Executive Director of Space for Life. Now, what is Space for Life? Space for Life is a biodome, mm -hmm. insectarium, planetarium, and a botanical garden. The Espace pour la Vie houses the largest natural science museum in Canada. They are designed to be interdependent and inspire visitors to experience nature in a new way. All right, guys, we're in. We made it to the biodome. We're going to start with the tropical rainforest. Hopefully, the camera doesn't fog up too much. Whoa, it is hot. Oh my god, it actually is hot, though. Oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, la la, tu fais chaud. Oh, mon dieu, c'est tellement humide. Don't forget to wipe your lens. It's steamy in here. It's so humid in this section. It looks like a rainforest in here. It actually makes it feel like a real rainforest. Like, I'm sweating right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sweating. It's hot in here. So very beautiful. Feels like I'm in Costa Rica. <gasps> okay, so I'm our sorry. goal is to go to Costa Rica I'm and sorry. we just arrived. This is literally like you're in the tropics right now. It's so humid in here, I can feel it on my skin. When you go through the tropical forest, you get in, it's really hot and humid. If you want to see the animals, well, you have to look all over the place. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the birds in the trees. Wow, those parrots are pissed. <laughs> the animals are not in cages because the facility has been constructed to feel like their natural habitat. The animals are almost free to go wherever they want to, but as I said, nothing's dangerous. But you have probably four different types of plants here just in the tropical forest. Oh my god. These sleeves are the size of my apartment. And this is all real. Like, yeah. all of this is real. It's really beautiful. There's even a shit there. Uh, it's popping its ugly head. Seriously, look how long this thing is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't even find the end. Oh my god, c'est quoi ça? C'est donc ben gros. Les capybaras. Le plus gros rongeur au monde. That's me right there. I feel you, bud. I see monkeys. Oh my god. So cute. We're in the tropical forest. Mm -hmm, we are, and it's and boiling hot. And uh, they're uh, right here. We have the habitat of uh, monkeys. Monkeys, yeah. <laughs> How should I act when meeting a monkey? First of all, we can't smile because if we show our teeth, it's like a menace to them. So we have to try not to show our teeth. I could just take my teeth out. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. And the other thing is in the eye. Never look the monkeys in the eye and don't show teeth. It's like meeting Mansbridge. Watching you if you were. He didn't want me to look in his eyes. Yeah. The minute yeah. I looked in his eyes, he skedaddled. Yeah. Okay, come back, monkey. I won't look at you. <laughs> Diva. This place is so beautiful. Forget about the snow outside. Springtime, that's really fun. Sometimes we have meters of snow out there, but inside we're seeing the leaves puffing out and the flowers coming in. This is a f***ing rainforest that is man-made for our entertainment and to preserve biodiversity. Fuck yeah, I am obsessed. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. Whoa, it went so fast. I know. Yeah. It's so fast. Whoa, you don't even see it. I'm 
moving right along into a maple forest. Oh, much cooler in here. We're going to the maple forest now. It feels so much cooler. See, everyone's putting their jackets back on. Quebec is known for their Laurentian Mountain. You're in the Laurentian forest. Is there any poison on you? Not yet. Okay, so it's like the Laurentian forest, except better. It smells very mapley in here. Là, on se sent vraiment au Canada. Hein? On se sent au Québec. Il y a un castor là-bas. Léa, viens voir les castors. Look at that. That's something else. That's Canada's national symbol. It is. Oh my gosh, I see it. Is oh, it see the beaver? I've always wanted to see one. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Definitely a lot colder. So pretty. I just found otter. <laughs> 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 Don't scream, it's okay. Oh my god. This is a big deal that you have a baby lynx. Yes, it is. Because it's the first time we actually managed to have a baby lynx in our habitat. It's been 20 years that uh, we've had lynxes here at the Bible. And they've never made it before? Well, we had another couple before. And why? They were just married too long and just didn't... Maybe. The spark was gone? Does this little cute kitten have a name? Again, no. Yeah, no. You just won't name them. <laughs> yeah. But it's so cute and cuddly yes, right it now. Is. But it's going to grow up to be vicious. Mm -hmm. Let's call him Steven. <laughs> section Gulf of the St. Lawrence. Maintenant on s'en va dans le golf du Saint Laurent. Ah oh, tiens, on revoit encore. Oh. Oh. Tu vas aller les voir? <laughs> Regardez-moi ce spécimen! Oh my god! Regarde Léa, il est en haut, il est en haut! Oui, il est ici! <laughs> You know Kevin O'Leary from the Dragon's Den? No. He has a room exactly like this. Off the There's a skate, isn't it? Yeah. And the bottom is beautiful. There's no beer bottles down there. Little starfish, just chilling out. Why did you let birds in here in the first place? This rock is clean. You could eat plankton off this rock. Arriving in the subpolar region. Hey, it's a mur de glace, a tunnel de glace. <gasps> so cool. Oh my god, this is actually ice. Oh, this is so cool. La glace? La glace? Oh, no. <laughs> <'est qui> ça? <laughs> Head on over to the sub Antarctic zone where you can chill out with some frosty penguins. I am so excited because we're going to meet penguins. Here at the Biodome, we have four different species of penguins. Pink penguin, we have the Gen 2 penguin, and two little species that we call rock hopper and the macaroni penguin. Hello. So it's a very small rock hopper and it's very tame. Yes. Now, this penguin has hair extensions. Why is that? <laughs> Actually, that's a mystery of nature. So it's not a mystery. It. It's because it looks fabulous. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. If you get tired of telling the kids, look but don't touch, then head on downstairs for some hands-on fun. We have the hands-on museum with uh, ribs of whale skulls for microscopes. We have a beluga whale that is probably 10,000 years old, so really interesting to go through. So whether you've come to see the beautiful habitats or just to enjoy the animals, make sure you give yourself enough time to take it all in. This place is enormous. This place is huge. I think it's fascinating that they took an existing structure they probably didn't know what to do with, I'm guessing, and made it this beautiful environment for animals and for kids. Yeah. I mean, this is gorgeous. The biodome was so, so much fun. I felt like a little kid again. The biodome is near the Olympic Park, which was pretty cool. It was, it was surreal to just like look out and see, you know, oh, the Olympics, you know. Nobody. Such a phenomenal place because when you enter, it's just another world. It's like real ecosystem. Oh yeah, it was really beautiful. The exhibits are really well done and very interesting and very entertaining. The monkeys were adorable. So a big thumbs up? Yes, totally.
This is like a zoo mixed with an aquarium. It's really, really, really cool. If you ever come here, make sure you bring a stack, a jacket, and you wear a t-shirt because it goes from, first it was boiling hot, and now it's freezing cold.